Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Opacity Masks to do custom shading. I've got this nice graphic here of this Canadian flag. It's got a nice curve to it, but it's still a little flat. So we're going to breathe some life into it. I'll start by selecting the background shape and cloning it using the keyboard shortcut Control K. Now I'm going to give the clone a medium dark red color from the color line. And we'll deselect that for a minute. And I'm going to get the freehand tool. And we'll just make this black so that you can see better what I'm doing. And basically I'm just going to draw some long narrow blobby shapes. all over the flag. The exact shape of them really at this point doesn't matter. As many as you wish. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap there I think and we'll just put this one here at the very end. Alright, now I'm going to select them all just hold down the shift key and select them all. And rather than copy them to the clipboard, I'm going to use control X and cut them. Now I'm going to select our red clone here. And I'm going to go up here, edit, paste opacity mask, paste opacity mask in place. All right, now it's looking a little strange right now with all these strange stripes all over it. But when we're done, it will look like shading. So let's start editing these shapes. Control, click to select each one. You can hold down Control, Shift, to select all of them at once. Now let's add some feathering. I'm going to add a very large amount of feathering. Now I'm going to deselect them all and I'm going to edit them one by one. So control, click. Now I'm going to Hold down the shift key and just stretch each one. All right, now here comes the fun part. Let's start with this one here. And I'm going to get the shape editor tool. Now, you can edit these shapes as much or as little as you want. Add points. Move points. Basically, by editing the shape, you can curve your shading and your highlights. Basically, you're curving the highlights to follow your flag in pretty much any way you want. I'll just do another one. Just 
just to show you. Now I'm going to select the by holding down the control key I've selected the original medium dark red clone shape and I'm just going to use the transparency tool and give it a flat transparency to blend our shading in with the flag and as you can see it's giving it a ripple defect that can be customly edited however you see fit. I hope this explained a little bit more about what you can do with the opacity mask tool.